Lights go green, let's go racing. Corinna Gosna already trying to make moves. Eric Prinot, a blistering start from him. Jean-Claude Sader alongside Christian Kinch has got uh, Thomas Gosner alongside him, but will go through and maintain his P3 position, or will he? Because Thomas Gosner now will have the inside line for the next turn and may move himself up to P3 and get past Christian Kench. Indeed, he's done so. There's a little bit of contact between Manuela Gosner and that car picks up a couple. One of those is Von Skeltemar. The other one, I think, is uh, Tommy Lindroth. Now, everyone will recover from there, but of course, they'll be much, much further down the order than they would have liked to have been. Prinot leads from Jean-Claude Sada. Out goes the 162 car, and that's the car of uh, Christoph Herney, who's involved in that uh, skirmish. There's Vladimir Haladik. So the Copa Shell cars already stretching their legs, and there is uh, Corinna Gosner then in a real ding-dong battle there with the uh, car of uh, Giuseppe Ramelli. Corinna Gosner, of course, wanted to get up the uh, order and get closer to her uh, sister. So there, good avoidance from Ingvar Matson and a number of other drivers as well. And this in replay now. Whether that was a little tap uh, from the uh, Manuela Gosner car there, I'm not sure. Never like to call that really until we've seen all the angles.